Everybody, and welcome back for some more assertive modding. It has been quite some time since I last got into whoops, got into um, building any of these designs and finalizing them for adding them to the mod. So long, in fact, that when I had a look back in the Discord channel, the ship that is next on the list is from all the way back on the 30th of September last year. So, um, yeah, just barely keeping ahead of one year ahead of uh, all the designs. Though I suspect I'm going to struggle and I'm going to get more than a year behind because there are quite a few from back then. Maybe one day I'll <laughs> catch back up to that far. Maybe. Possibly. Who knows? I'm going to try. So, this first design... I'm going to work on. I've got the next 10 ships here. I had a whole long line of all of them, but with that many ships, I was actually finding there were significant performance problems, so I'm going to be working on them in chunks like this. And... Oh, did the stream title not update? Got on. Oh well. My bad. <laughs> Forgot to update my stream title. It's fixed now. Uh, anyway. <laughs> this first ship is by Philip, I think. Yeah. Uh, I've... I think I'm going to have to do a few changes to this. This has way too many guns. Like, far too many. There are at least one, two, three, four, five... Five large Gatlings, two rocket launchers... And three interior turrets on the inside, as well as several on the outside. It's too many. Just over the top. So, start off with, let's get rid of those. Oh, in fact, let's copy this. And then I'll start deleting stuff. Like with so many of these designs, my aim is usually to... Kind of take the core theme of a build, as I see it, like design theme-wise, and try and work, run with that and make it consistent with the rest of the mod. So one of the hardest things with having designs come from everyone is that a lot of people have very different approaches to building stuff, particularly very different approaches to how I build stuff. And I think it's nice to have some sort of cohesive pattern to what each to all of the ships in the in the mod. Um, it's one of the things that I always found a little sad about whenever I've played games where there's been a mod like all the Reddit submissions or that sort of stuff, because there's usually this collection of very disparate designs that don't necessarily work together unless the person curating it has actually been curating it. Uh, anything where just anything's allowed to be added really quite works from what I see. Oh, thanks Jeriel and Signa. So this thing I am going to try and turn into something that looks like a lot of the other designs. And I think if we have a look at it the fr from the front, the two features that I feel need to continue with this one are that big window, that's kind of a defining feature of it, and the little squat sort of base on it. This bit across here. Uh, Strith, you got notification for cows on conveyors because I messed up my up my stream information. I think I forgot to hit the update information button. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, I have not looked at the water mod. I don't I haven't had the time to look at anything like that. And I can't think of what I would use it for at this point. To 
to be honest. Uh, that's kind of my feeling on the water mod. I, I don't I don't honestly see what it's going to add to the way I play the game. At this stage. But that's because I haven't had time to look at it and see what it actually does. I think it'd be great for certain scenarios and things like that, but general gameplay I'm not I'm still not sold. <laughs> Counting how many times Capac drowns. Uh potentially. That could be a use for water in space engineers, is finding another way to have Capac die. again so I can work. I suppose I could delete those objects instead but the ammo will get in the way of building stuff I'm sure hey big ol and everyone that guy's up Leodala too many names Ugh. right how am I going to make this work to have and I should really turn symmetry on to have atmospheric thrusters where it needs them I think I might get rid of these glass bits on the side. Characters below 500 meters underwater take damage, would make mining harder. Yeah. But is. I don't know. I'm, I'm always skeptical of water in voxel games. Like, I'm skeptical of water in, um, Empyreon, in Seven Days to Die, it's just like... Is it really what we need? Like, it's, does it really add anything in the way that it's implemented? And does it, is it always, is it implemented well as, too? Thanks, Terry dear. I actually don't particularly like the deep ores mod I used to I used to like the idea of it but um what I found but Keen kind of broke the deep ores concept with adding stone refining because it means you rarely need to set up a big mine for any of the other resources thanks Slangani um, <laughs> hey, I pinged you, Eisen. <laughs> I even pinged you specifically because I know how much you like to remind me about doing it, these builds. Also feeds ice into conveyors. You can actually make floating boats and subs using tanks. Collectors, not conveyors. Yeah. Yeah, Gruz, that's exactly why I nerfed the stone in Survival Impossible, is that it, it did... The way that stone worked really did remove stone from being a... I mean, iron, nickel, silicon from being a consideration in how you go about mining things. Alright, so I've kept the rough shape. I've now cored out all of the systems. So, how to make this work? There's not a lot of room in this for the lateral forward and backward thrusters. That's one of the challenges. Wait, is this heavy armor as well? Uh, need a thingy. Need a tool. No. Weird. Is that heavy armor? That is heavy armor. Alright, let's get rid of that. Should not be using heavy armor on these. Those corner bits, I think, look like heavy as well. Yep. Yep. Ah. I 
Uh, no, not on knights this week, Stargazer. Oh, this is this ship is a mix of heavy and light armor. No. In fact, I think it's mostly heavy. It is. Oh, no wonder it had so many thrusters. For the size of it. Okay. Yep, I'm just going to rebuild this from scratch. Yeah, I could get Climb's Block Replacer mod, but um, I think I might just build this from scratch. Because, yeah, I, I definitely don't want heavy armor on atmospheric ships in the ACS mod. It's, it's a resource thing. You shoot down one thing, or one ship crashes that's got heavy armor, and you... You get so much stuff from it. It just... It breaks the resource collection uh, loop of the game. It's just shocking. Hey, Tib. <laughs> you might be right, Strith. The few bits of light armor might be... Might have been accidental. Might have been intended to be... All the big bits. Yeah, exactly. It solves, solves the cobalt problem, and those of you familiar with assertive cargo ships should know it is not about solving problems. It is about creating new problems for you to solve. I am very much a believer that the NPC mods, the problem that they should solve is you feeling lonely and alone and space feeling empty. They should not be solving the resource problems. They, I want it. My ideal is for the mod to interact as little as possible with the resource collection loop of the game. I still want mining to be relevant. I still want all that sort of stuff to be something you actually have to think about. Rather than just, oh, I'm going to be a pirate. Uh, General Scar, I do, still don't have a date for Survival Unlikely, the finale slash... It'll either be the last episode, or there'll be two episodes. I still haven't decided how I'm going to edit it together. I've started putting together some montages, and that stuff takes a lot of work. Um, so I'll be working on that slowly over the coming weeks. Uh, why haven't I got... Dang it. Okay, symmetry back on. Um, yeah, so, don't have a date for it. Uh, Capac and I have recorded something for this week, though. We've gotten, we went back into Lost Colony last night, which ended up going a lot later than we intended, because we both thought we were really close to the end, and we were wrong. Very wrong. Uh, uh, big ol', I'm happy to accept submissions for ships. I don't want base submissions. Um, the reason for that is I've got so many ships anyway, and I think, realistically, you're, I, I would prefer to pad out the ships in the mod more than the bases, because you don't tend to run into quite as many bases over the course of a game, whereas the ships, because they pass you and then disappear, you're likely to see a lot more of them, so having more variety in that, I think, is more beneficial than having more variety in the bases. Uh, there will be no more of Survival Unlikely in that universe, so to speak, uh, once the finale airs. But Capac and I will continue to do co-op space engineers stuff and I have an idea about a new I have a few ideas about how we're going to do a new series starting in space engineers uh, I've also got a short term well potentially short term series that Capac and I will start recording soonish as well and hey Tim <laughs> oh thanks Greg thank you very much New month, new support budget. How about you, Skellywag? 
Wow. That's some language. I love it. Yeah, final event. The stuff that I've mentioned so far is I'm planning on no ship shields for the next time Kapak and I do a series because I think the ship shields have broken a lot of the challenge in the game for us. And I'd like to bring that challenge back and keep that challenge in the game even after we've managed to solve some of our resource issues. It's a bit longer. So then I could do... I have this pop art organized horribly in this safe. Uh, then I can do this. I have a couple of laterals out here. Oops, that's not the way I meant. <laughs> Thanks, Stargazer. Yeah, Capac with a nerf jetpack. That's something I am very much looking forward to, because it it stops him from being the elite mercenary that he sometimes is. Like, much as much as I do give Kapak a bit of stick for how much he dies, he's actually, because he's not afraid to die, quite dangerous when he's got a jetpack. And he can do a lot of damage to the enemy ships without costing us anything except for you know a bit of laughter at his expense so I, I need to break that I need to make it so that he can't do that because then we have to think up ships we have to actually do some engineering to try and take down the enemies and when Capac's forced to engineer he comes up with some crazy good concepts sometimes which is kind of why I want to push him that way because he really does do some stuff, even the stuff that totally doesn't work, sometimes it inspires me to come up with stuff that will, that I would never have thought of before. Uh, and yeah, so I think pushing him in that way sometimes is it's kind of the best thing I can do for everyone's entertainment, including his own, I think. Uh, yeah, kind of, Captain Cranky. Um, limit his mobility, thereby also limiting his ability for instant treasure fix. Yeah, actually, that's a good point. For unknown signals, he's going to have to figure out ways to go and collect them without flying over there in his jetpack. So, I, I yeah, I think... I think it could add a lot of interest and change the progression dynamics in the game so that we're a little more I don't know when I when I was watching back at the when I was watching through some of the old survival unlikely videos as I've been putting together the montages um, some of those battles we got into back then were awesome and some of the things Capac came up with back then were fun we haven't been able to do that for a long time because of how much we've accumulated and that's why I think sometimes it's really important to end these series before they get so long in the tooth that we've got nothing to do. And I I didn't want Survival Unlikely to get to that point, and then I end it, and which means it kind of goes out with a whimper, instead of going out a bit of bit of a better note. Similar to what I did with Survival Maybe. I felt like I ended it at a time that was good when I could spend the time making a proper ending and so few things on on youtube manage to get proper endings that i'm like i want to do it <laughs> i wonder if i could make this thing mirrored front to back would that work <laughs> this is capac he'll just stand on you and try and get you to carry the signals uh i wouldn't claim that myself since I'm pretty sure the only video evidence of one of us trying to do that to the other was me trying to do that to him. But yeah. Yeah, Amran. Uh, 
Survival Impossible is... And the fun I've had with Survival Impossible it has very much shaped what I'd like to do in Space Engineers series. Bearing in mind, edited series. Streams are a whole different kettle of fish. Like, the stuff that Wasted's been doing with Vanguard and, like, the other stream series I've been a part of, that's a very different approach you need to take because of how... Uh, because of the time costs involved, I guess, more than anything. Um, if you slow things down too much, you end up making a game that's really bad for streaming. <laughs> it does seem like I'm making a flying greenhouse. I could make this a flying greenhouse, actually. This could be like a plant carrier. Memorial. Yes, all the trees I've seen. Yes, yes. <laughs> Succulents in space. <laughs> right. Yeah, if I'd made this ion big ol, it uh, would make a bit more sense, wouldn't it? Maybe I should change this over to ion and ditch the Atmos. What do you guys reckon? Atmo or Ion? For this ship, should I do a full re- a full thruster replacement? Ah, uh, no. <laughs> Won't be doing Hydro. Uh, Wow, that, that's a lot of salts, Stargazer. Ah, oh, transitional. No. I won't make a ship that has Atmos and Ions. Or at least if I did, it'll only be found in space. Because I don't want Platinum available on planets through the mod. Same as I don't want Uranium available on planets through the mod. Um, so if I do add Ions, that makes this a space only ship. Even if I leave the Atmos on there for show, it won't ever spawn on planets. Um, I suppose I could, since, uh, what am I doing? Since Lucas has made all the things work with hydrogen thrusters now, I could do hydro thrust, so it would work on both. But I think to manage hydrogen on this, I'm going to end up with a ship that is very different to the original, and I, I do try and keep the designs somewhat close to the originals for, the, for these things because I think it's otherwise you can't otherwise I might as well just build all these myself yes Lucas I could allow it to spawn in the dead zone between Atmo and Zero G <sighs> Lucas making my lawn chair base unsafe Because he's done it. He's not kidding. Lucas has actually made it so that stuff can spawn in the dead zone. Just because I decided to build a base there. <laughs> actually, I love that he's done it. Because it's going to be a very exciting return trip to the lawn chair base. Since I'm going to need to have um, a lot of preparations made in terms of weaponry when I return. 
Oh, that's right. I need to try and remember uh, to... Uh, what was I thinking? Uh, I need to try and remember to get a time for me to use... Come on, brain. Why is my brain just totally failing right now? The thing I was ne just reminding myself of, I need to, at some point, do a stream where I mess around with player-made weapon scripts. I don't know if it's entirely because of me, Mr. Trilby, but I know that uh, Lucas let me know <laughs> early because he knew how much it could mess with me. Which I am appreciative of. Uh, how do I want to do this door? I do want them from the side. But I feel like... Eh, I'll do this. Uh, think of things like whips ones and just having a look at all the different ones to see which ones might work for my purposes. Big ol'. Um, didn't have any particular thing once in mind. Uh, my reason to do it on a stream was to actually get suggestions from people as well because I'm familiar with some of the ones out there but I haven't used them enough that it's uh, changed. I know it's not Craftopia Valenorius. I have updated the information, but I must have forgotten to click it before I actually started streaming. So I think people's notifications were still the wrong thing, because I'm a dope. Alright, we've got... Almost got thrust in... All but one direction. Cool, so we got lift, left, right, back, forward, and then I just need some downward thrust. Uh, I, General Scar, the streams I do, I've done on YouTube have always been a bit more event-based. So big things that I really want to show off to as many people as possible. And the stuff on Twitch tends to be more casual, a bit more relaxed. Um, so I do plan on having some more stuff on YouTube in the future. It just needs to be the right idea. Like, the thing that I'm going to do has to be something that suits what I do on YouTube. Uh, partially because of the way the algorithm seems to work, and partially just because that's what I prefer to do for YouTube. Decorative blocks. Oh, cool, big old. Uh, let me just copy that link to that collection and put it somewhere where I won't lose it. Let's start with that as my rough plan for this these floors. There we go. That's kind of yeah, I don't mind that shape. I do hope that 12 thrusters is enough. I think it should be. 
Uh, Kapak is still in bed last night. Could hear him. We might have stayed up a bit late recording last night. Uh, he does, he did tell me he does have plans to stream today though. Uh, to do more of his Blood Bowl stuff. So that should be coming. For those of you who've been watching that, I figured I'd pass that on. Uh, need some stairs. Oh, that's inconvenient. Coming right in front of the door. To do that. Uh, I'm actually feeling pretty good this morning, despite staying up that late. Um, I yeah, I I'm feeling fine. <laughs> I shouldn't be because I haven't had many hours of sleep, but I I feel great. I woke up at, like, I think we finished recording at about 1.30 last night. I woke up at 6, just bright as. It was weird. I think it might be because I've been spending so much time in bed feeling unwell this last week-ish. And eventually all that sleep just meant that I didn't want any more. Oh yeah, I, I bet I will feel terrible tonight. I <laughs> don't disagree with you on that at all. Uh, how do I want to do this? A little bathroom up here. Thanks, Miguel. Yeah, feeling, feeling mostly back to normal. Not perfect, but mostly. with a door, with a door. So that'll... Yeah, I think this works out a bit. Bit of an interesting space compared to what I normally build in these ships. Yeah, holdy phone. Uh, caffeine can sometimes fix these things, but uh, it is not something I... Ugh. Coffee. Blech. Yuck. <laughs> I just can't do the taste. Taste has just never worked for me. Uh, what could I put here that might be different? Does that look weird? That looks weird. I should just put an arm block across there, actually. Oh, no, wait. I know what we can put here. Uh, where's my interior wall block? I keep forgetting that this is a thing. Sci-fi armor on the interior block that it totally changes the way it looks. Wait, doesn't it? Hey! Was it sci-fi? Which, which is the one that changes up the? <laughs> Thanks again, Star Guys. <laughs> Thanks, man. Oh, is it a separate block? Ah, oh, whoops. Whoops. Keep pressing the wrong thing. Uh, where is it? I keep forgetting that it's a thing. Is it a separate block? Oh, it is, because now we... Yep, scroll. Don't mind me. Ignore me. 
Uh, I'm having a moment. There we go, that looks better. I like the way that this integrates well with the other, like, complex designed blocks, the newer blocks, because it, it does fit in really nicely where I would normally have had to shove a set of lockers or something like that. So I really like it. out better than I thought it would. Now, the interesting thing here is how am I going to make these farms? Oh yeah, Strith, this is definitely going to get a paint job, don't stress. <laughs> the blue is just what I'm working with for now. Uh, the blue conveniently, I mean we can change it to white just so that it's, I don't know actually if white will make it easier for you guys to see what's going on or harder. Oh, whoops. Not want sci-fi texture on everything. I like it for decoratives, but not everything. <laughs> yeah, big old I I really like the um, neon stuff too. Kind of genuinely added some fun additional design things in the last patches. Ah. Uh, See, the, the green... the green blocks with mossy texture just... They never look quite right to me. They always look a bit weird. I should put the mirror back on. Yeah, it feels more camo than uh, looking like a plant, even at a distance. So, alright, let's have a look. With how much space I've got here, and the fact that I had to have these windows on the inside, how many rows of plants can I actually have? I can only have three rows of plants if I do it that way. If I do them this way. At least I could kind of do four, I guess. Does that look weird? Should I just go to the half blocks? Yeah, I thought, I thought the blue might weirdly be easier to see stuff on. I do find sometimes that while I, I personally like to design in white because it takes away a lot of the, um, what's the term I'm looking for? It takes away a lot of the desire, well, the desire to use colour instead of shape to make a place feel interesting and I always like to use shape initially and then once I've got the shape down then I start adding extra bits to make it interesting in other ways um lore for this ship I don't tend to do much in the way of lore other than like the occasional tiny bit of story on some of these builds The next row is going to have to be up that high so that they can be supported, which is annoying. Uh, 
Yeah, maybe oxygen farms could be a better option than the... I could just actually do that. Have the oxygen farms hanging up there, have a bunch of these down the bottom. And then it'll be some sort of... live plant transport, I guess? Ah, uh, the sun will not work on these oxygen farms through the windows, but I don't want it to. These aren't even piped up to anything and they won't ever be. Yeah, Almiran, it, it uh, might be a drug running ship. <laughs> it certainly it looks a little bit suspicious for that. Oh, hold up. Oh, you reckon... Alright, let's see how this would work down this end. You're thinking doing something like this might be better. Okay, what do you guys reckon? Do you reckon it looks better having just all of those oxygen farms? Or do you think it'll look better having some oxygen farms and some of the planter boxes? Or, to make it more interesting, do one end one way and the other end the other way. Actually looked better up the top, didn't it? Rather than all cramped. Especially since it'll give me room to put some lights in that look like grow lights. Actually, that's a good point, Blue Baron. <laughs> a mix of both is better because it's e <laughs> it's easy to come to the conclusion. <gasps> plants, plants everywhere. do need some way to control this ship, which I have not yet put on it. So there's that. Uh oh. Deleting things I didn't mean to. I'm going to put the things back up here. I actually put them up there. I liked having this bit of open feel in it, because the ship is quite an open ship, which is unusual for this for the assertive mod. Which is kind of cool. Do something do it different. Gyro somewhere. Sure. Whoops. I need to figure out how I'm going to get an antenna on this in an interesting way, and how I'm going to get a control seat on here somewhere. I don't know how well I'd be able to build stairs up further, or whether it'll look a bit weird if I did, to build a sort of control tower star bridge. I also think it would take away from the overall shape of the build. But I 
I suppose I could give it a go. Let's copy this. Some sort of flying bridge up here, you guys reckon? Actually, there probably is room on, room on the bottom for an antenna, given that I filled in those blocks. Yeah, compared to the original build, I think it's still got some of the same sort of... enough of the same sort of features. <laughs> it does look a bit like a train carriage. I had a similar thought, Karma's Evil Twin, that the antenna on the front did make the previous, de the original design look a bit like a narwhal. From silly battle pod to flying b farm bubble. Sure. <laughs> Try this. Uh, right, how would I get the stairs up here? Get the stairs up there. Um, hey. Where can I fit stairs or a ladder? I don't even know where I'd fit a ladder. could flip some like the trouble is I don't really want to flip any of these uh, catwalks over because the moment I do that they'll look out of place with the rest of the ones that are around here so I don't really have any room to put anything on them that way I feel like I'd have to stretch out backwards or forwards Because stairs would go probably, uh, I can see some of you guys suggesting this, which is to open that up and then allow me to put stairs in here. But I don't know that that's, I think that's kind of the best solution. Uh, it'll mean I'll have to get rid of this battery. I can't walk. Ah, oh, the glass. The glass is in the way. This is, yeah, this is the trouble I've got for this space. Oh, you reckon shrink the glass? I guess I could. It doesn't need to be fully symmetrical. Could do that. Because I'm not sure I'll have anywhere to attach it up the top. Uh, the reason for the full width stairs is it's really hard to create transitions between half width stairs and certain shapes of catwalk. 
Uh, if I used half width stairs, I would have some considerable problems. Although, I may have actually set this up in a way that I could use half width stairs. Huh. Let me just copy this across. Yeah, the half width stairs just aren't as flexible, but if you can fit them, they are better. Ah, oh, no, inverted corners. Let's try this. See if I can make this work. If I can get my head around which way this is going to rotate when I'm past a weird angle. does work so far but this is the bit that always gets me it always annoys me uh, how am I gonna get the right railings on this block Oh yeah, I suppose I could have done them lengthways as well. That would have been an option. Perhaps a better one, actually. Dang it! <laughs> Why'd you have to suggest that now, Barnaby? That's actually a better way of doing it. Uh, I've already done it. <laughs> it's okay, man. I'm just being a petulant child. Okay, let's try this. Da, da, da. Now I just hope that I've done this at the right... Yeah, I have. Good. The right way that when it goes up, it comes forward. It goes up to the final level. Uh, now, how am I going to anchor this thing? With half block stairs. I'm just going to have to use the neons. What have I got? What have I got? No, don't have them anyway. Kind of going to be the best way I can do that. I think once I put this on top of it, though, it should look okay. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. Yeah. That does look much better. There really are days where I'm very glad um, I do this stuff on stream rather than <laughs> just on my own. Because there are some very good suggestions that come out about uh, out as a result of it. Ah, uh, nuts. That doesn't work. Has to be that. Now, what am I going to do 
for this bridge design. Uh, I'm really not sure. Do I just go with something? Like, I, if I'm going to have these, I'm going to need to move these blocks. Because I need to have something flat to build onto. Uh, that. I could probably move them. At least, I could move the gyros in here. Yeah. I think I'll have to do something like the... Ubor's style of thing with just the basic shield of glass around you sort of thing. I was hoping to come up with something a little more interesting, but I think that will be where I have to go. Get rid of that. Three by three on here. No. Uh, what if I use my neon trick? There's nothing in the way of that, is there? No. Stairs and nothing. No. Right, I just needed an attachment. I actually like these in their medium build state with those little bits of joints uh, between the brackets. It's kind of cool. There we go. They do look like little coat hooks. Uh, assertive interactions is what assertive cargo ships and assertive installations is becoming. Uh, right now, the test version of assertive cargo ships that's on the workshop is what will eventually be renamed to assertive interactions because it includes the bases now. It's not just the cargo ships anymore. Oh, rats. Ah, uh, this doesn't work. Dang it. Oh, no, it does. It does. Ish. Kind of wanted to have a railing at least there. Uh, yeah, I guess I could do something giant like that. <laughs> okay, so that's a little bit bigger than I was intending. Decent point, big ol'. You could actually put a cockpit up there. I always feel weird putting cockpits on large grid ships, though. But this one, it, it could sort of work. Uh, how weird would it look? Having that up there, and if I armor it instead. Yeah, the 
front of it does end up looking weird, doesn't it? Nah. I think it... It's one of those blocks that I've just never found a way to make it feel right. Try the industrial, you reckon? I think the industrial have bigger problems. I can see the industrial looking great in a hangar, though, as like an overlook crane sort of design. Um, but I, I feel it doesn't quite work here. The trouble, one of the biggest troubles with using the cockpits on large grid builds is they introduce a lot of angles that you can't mirror anywhere else. So you have to figure out where you're going to attach them so that they're completely isolated and that you're not continuing their lines through other stuff. And that's really hard with large grid. Yeah, I could use passage blocks, but... Oh, no, I can't use passage blocks, because then I won't be able to get off the stairs. I'd have to have, like, one passage block there. It's not going to quite work. Uh, I may have to shrink the glass at the front here, actually. Make this work. So I think I need more space. You're welcome, Zathias. which end I intended to have as the front anymore. But it's going to be that way. Alright, let's pop down the control seat so that I've at least got that in place. Where are my control chairs on these ridiculously badly organised hot bars? I should have cleared these out at the start and <laughs> started fresh because, well, they're shocking. Uh, that. Do I want the old school control seat or do I want the new one? Let's this one's just so much better. Uh, hang on. Just had an idea. do this. If I go with that sort of shape. Sorry, just trying to read chat. I lost track of where I was up to. <laughs> yes, a cockpit on a rotor would solve your back and front problem. Uh... Uh, may account, this is deliberately designed in a boxy fashion. What I do with um, these cargo ship designs is I take someone's design that they send me and if they haven't done much interior design or if it doesn't really work with the rest of the designs in the cargo ships that I've had, that I've done so far, I rework it and try and keep the kind of main concept of the design intact. And when you look at the ship design that I started with, the main thing was that big glass window on the front and that shape. So I've kept that intact while going with a design that fits a bit better with the rest of the mod, I think. Yeah, I'd thought about using the 
Oh, hold up. I can't actually do this, can't I? Even though that's weird having glass on glass, I can do it. Anyway, doesn't look as bad as I thought it might. Oops. Uh, Blue Baron, people send me the ships through Discord. There's a whole bunch of rules about what you can submit and what the submissions need to have, that sort of stuff, what they can't have, uh, which you can check out and see if you want to submit your own designs. Bear in mind, this design is from almost a year ago, so I am very, very far behind uh, on what I can, on, like, where I was up to with the, whatchamacallit, with the submission so far. Uh, as mentioned earlier, Stormy, no, I've ch not checked out the water mod, and I'm not in any great rush to, because I don't think it adds much in to the game that I'm likely to use soon. Uh, I'm trying to focus on getting Survival Unlikely's finale all edited and that stuff, which is taking my focus at the moment. How am I going to make a roof block stuck on there? I can't figure this out. A uh, big ol'. The Ornithopter is about 20 ships to go, till it, um, and I'm going to have to think about that one because it's small grid and the submissions were meant to be all large grid. So I'm just going to, I saw it and I think it's kind of cool, so I might be able to work it into being a drone instead. But I'll see when I get to that point. Yeah, I can't place the light here or on any of the other edges. And I can't... If I place a light up here on just one side, it just feels weird to have that asymmetry to the light. <laughs> that just feels odd. I mean, I suppose it could work that way. Double lights don't give attachment points, annoyingly. Double lights won't cut. You can't even actually place double lights so that they're on both of those window panes. It's impossible. They just don't let you to. Our Stormy, the reference is the original submission. Some of these submissions I probably won't need to modify at all, uh, or very minimally, but some of them I need to do a bit more because they don't have an interior, and I want all of these ships to have an interior and something for people to go through and look at when they get it. Double railings vertical. Maybe. Thinking like that. That's an interesting idea. Kind of works. Yeah, I said it'll probably be something like that for the net. Yeah. Yeah. That works. Yeah, Strith, the, that does, does end up looking a bit like a handhold, which I think works quite well. Cool. Now I just need to figure out where to put the remote control block, which might end up underneath, actually. So I had gotten rid of it, and I need to replace it. And put some guns and things on here.
Thanks, Bugsy. came together reasonably quickly. That is good. Whoa, offstage. Easy up on the uh, caps there, buddy. <laughs> it does look a bit like a space bus, except this is an atmospheric, so it's kind of like a sky bus. Oh, drat. I managed to copy the wrong one without the antenna. Dang it! Thank you. For the reminder. Oh, hold up. Go back to there. I can then... Do this. Just thought I'd try something a little different. Kind of covers up the remote control block, which is handy. Antenna. Then I was thinking. Something like that. Does it look funny? That being the only bit with the 2x1 slopes. What? I don't think so. You know, it's fine. Uh... It's a space caboose. <laughs> Oh yeah, I need to do lighting and everything, don't I? Forgot about that. Alright, I need to do some paint work on it because it can't be all blue. I, I'm not, I'm not on board with that. Uh, it needs to get some extra style with the paint work. Do I have the paint mod in this save? I do. I do, I do, I do. And yes, I am still missing downward thrust. You know what I might do? Let's copy this. Let's head down to the planet. Oops, function lock is not on. No way. Would be bad weather. Apparently I've got to turn off weather in this side. Better, 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 better. See ya, big ol'. Have fun. Uh, did that leave behind the glass? That did leave behind the glass. Or did I accidentally delete the glass and not replace it? Okay, it's back now anyway. Kind of looks like you attached anti-gravity to a building. Yeah, yeah, it kind of does. Kind of does. I'm, I'm not upset with that comparison. <laughs> Alright, lighting. Uh, lighting, no, paint, paint. Let's get some co uh, different colours in here. Uh, I think... Something in the... Medium grey department is where I should start. Oops. Remind me of an RV slash camper van. Eh, guess so.
might actually go for a different colour for the, uh, whatchamacallits, the oxygen farms. Ooh, that needs to be replaced. A little bit easier walking around this space now that we've got gravity. Well, thanks, Rafa. <laughs> yeah, kind of is a bit of a mobile grow home. Uh, not to say everything that these guys do is legit. At least adds a little bit of depth. Uh, I do feel these might need to be different though. The dark grey doesn't really work for them. Uh, Zathias, this is a mod by Digi called Paint Gun. Uh, and it is epic. Because it allows you to paint things that the vanilla painting tool cannot paint. Uh, at least can't paint with any degree of ease. So it's something that I use even in creative worlds because it adds so much more. Yeah, more of that Omicronian devil's lettuce. That is true. Alright, if we've got a bit of grey on the inside, let's... What else is going to work well with the blue? Do I go just a darker blue in some bits? Maybe. Yeah, that's what I could do. Yeah, I was thinking white, but I kind of... I do white a lot, so I thought I'd see if I could come up with something that would work better than just all white all the time. Uh, that needs to be darker. And also, I think the whole ship needs to get the... get rid of the clean look. The clean gives too much colour without breaking it up. Purple, Jackson. Really? Oh no, that wasn't Jackson. Purple Don Kong. <laughs> I thought... I, I should immediately thought purple and pink. Must be Jackson suggesting it. Did I not fix the floor? Oh, I didn't fix the floor. Whoops. <laughs> don't know that this is going to work. This just makes me think of the crab juice. I can't I can't do this purple. I'm gonna have to go with white. It's just so stereotypically space engineers when you pair blue with white because of the survival pod. Black. Let's try. I don't tend to go black, I tend to go like a charcoal y colour. Let's see. Uh, with. What if I do battered? Actually, yeah. Given the black of the windows. I forgot I have to actually change the skin this way. Uh, what would it look like about it? I haven't... Unless I've got a double thick uh, armor coating on something, I don't think I'll ever be using the wood. Largely because you just... I think it just looks weird unless you're 
got a very particular aesthetic you're going for. Ah, uh, Barnaby. <laughs> Change it up from blue with white and go white with blue instead. Yeah. So that just made it boring in a whole new way. I feel like that's just made it boring in a whole new way. Yeah, it's too much dark, isn't it? Alright, let's start this fresh. There's too much the, the grey's too dark. I'm gonna redo the plants as well, because I'm not happy. Not happy! This blue, this blue doesn't work with much. <sighs> Forgot orange. I do some very specific highlights in orange. Yeah, the, with Space Engineers, um, there's a reason why there are some colour palette, there's some aspects of the colour palette that don't tend to get used much. And in my opinion, it's because of the colours that are used on the blocks themselves. All of the conveyors being yellow encourages a lot of people to include some yellow in their builds so that they can expand that bit of the colour palette. And because if you don't, you end up clashing against it. Um... The grey that's used on the blocks is all a very standard grey, so that grey tends to be expanded and used elsewhere in people's builds. So you tend to only have really the option to add one colour unless you're going to armour over the whole thing. Uh, uh, not a big fan of this look. <laughs> it sort of works. But, uh, I don't know what to do with this. What can I do? Do I just ditch the blue and just go something different entirely? Alright, let me just try one thing that I just thought of. Also. Save myself a bit of time putting the mirror mode on. That's a better start, isn't it? Yep, Barnaby, you're right. I'm giving that blue with white a try. <laughs> I just, yeah. I think, what do you, what do you guys reckon? Uh yeah, the sci-fi armor is a good thing to add a little bit of a detail. One of the things I like about it is one of the bits can sometimes look a bit like a vent if you've got the right bit on the right block but it does it is a really nice way to break up large sections of uh, monochromatic paint Not sure I'm gonna do rusty. This thing is flying. Do 
I just leave it at that? Do I just keep it really simple? Yeah, totally not a Star Wars texture. That's what it should be called. <laughs> pretty simple, but maybe this is the right level of simple. Thanks, Gurgos. Here's what rusty planters are going to look like. Oh, I suppose I could rusty some of them. Or should I mossy them? I could mossy a couple and rusty some as well, I guess. It doesn't look too bad. It does break it up a bit too. though. Oh no, that's a bit much. I think that's a bit much to do the mossy on the oxygen farms. And probably a bit much there too. Not sure what you're talking about, General Scar. <laughs> this crew isn't maintaining their very legal, organically grown lettuce very well. Oh, the last string. Uh, yeah, I was I was using archery most of the time in the uh, Craftopia thing that Capac and I'll come back to on Friday. I should do much more than this. I feel like I should leave this as is now. What do you guys reckon? Yeah, the center area is a little bit barren. I should put some lockers or something down, I guess. Or I could put some more planters down. Locker and kitchen. Ah, oh, that's a good point. I haven't put any kitchen stuff down either. Oh yeah, the, the that's right, the dispenser is probably a better option here. That doesn't work. Oh, I can do my usual four table thing.
Yeah, I think that pads that out nicely. Now, I do need to put lights in. I have not done lights. Let's turn off my lights. Let's turn off the sunlight. And... Jeez, this world must have been really old. Because it was before these things were stacked under the same items. Signa, I... Yeah, I don't often... I very rarely play with Space Just Got Real. I, The mod that I'm using at the moment that's affecting... That's getting rid of the vignette at the corner of my screens is... Uh, Screen Gunk Be Gone by Whiplash. Uh, which does the same stuff, except doesn't mess with the skybox. So I can choose my own skybox. Um, but it, it's just habit. It's not that I actually think the either mod is better or worse than the other. It's just, it's become habit for me to use that one instead. So I've just been doing it. I don't really think about it. <laughs> I've ended up using that one. Can I get any light out here? I don't think I can. Nuts. Uh, Kapak is playing Blood Bowl over on his channel at the moment. Uh, if you guys are interested in watching that. He's do he's... As he calls it, his Monday Night Blood Bowl. Even though it's Monday morning. Whenever he does it. I was tossing up the UV light idea. But... I just don't know that I'll... I don't know... I don't feel like I'd be able to make it convincing enough in this environment. A more tightly packed one. Uh, there's a... I've got a more tightly packed greenhouse in a smuggler's ship where on that one I've done the purplish sort of light to make it look right. Oh yeah, could you... S You're right, neons. I wonder... If that's a good idea. Let me see what I can do with neons and see if they'll work. Because neons would have to start up here. So it'd have to be like that. Because that's as close as I can get them. Uh, what if I... And the trouble with the neons is they don't actually emit any light. That's what I might need to do to make it look right. Something like this. I'll obviously paint them the different colour. I'm just leaving it at this for the moment, just for ease. Uh, oh, hang on. No, that's, that's not the right way to do that. A better way to do this would be putting a straight piece there, there. Getting another one, two, and then putting a corner light on the end of this. I think. So I could then use the corner light to create the purple glow, but the neons will be the painted purple bit. Oops. The wrong thing. Yeah, there's there's no way I could get an interior light attached in there, Ryzen, unfortunately. Um, you can't attach stuff to the oxygen farms. So the only way I can get an attachment point for the corner light is to use the neons like that. Green. Yeah, 
needs to be a bit more purple. Now I need to make this a bit more purple because that's a bit too pink. To lean a bit more towards the end of things, I think. That looks okay. Oh, thanks, Raiden Bill. How have you not made a cantina yet with those? I don't know. Probably because Kapak hasn't. Because if there was going to be one made, it would probably be made by him. What do you guys reckon? Do you think that is convincing enough? Uh, Craftopia will be on Friday. So that's five days away? Four days away? Ah, uh, they can't go down lower. Karma's Evil Twin, that is as close as they can be to these plants. Oh yeah, I should have a look through the windows and see what they look like. Oh yeah. Uh, in daylight it should be fairly minimal. Like, it's still going to look purple, but the rest of it kind of gets washed out. Which I think is fine. Yeah. No. Again, one of those situations where I'm glad you guys made me do something that I probably would have... I may not have tried had I not been streaming this at the time. Uh, the lighting in here looks acceptable. It's not great. Uh, then... I do not have lights up here. And I can't get lights up here. There's no block for putting it. Because this block has the railing in it. And these blocks have this railing in. Oh well. I think that's fine. Don't need to have a light in the cockpit. There's enough light in the rest of the ship. Now we just need some guns. Time for guns. Looks like a club for plants. Uh, no, there's there's no room to put interior lights on those battery signal, unfortunately. I make my fit a decent sized cannon. So I could put one on the back there, or on the front there, I should say. Probably do one on the back as well, the same way. If I take that block out and then put a full block in. That kind of works, I think. Uh, yeah, the, I'll probably put some interior, an interior turret on each side there. Oh, actually, yeah, that's probably better, Eisen. Probably is better if I put it on the... on that spot. That makes more sense. Gives a reason for having those, an extra reason for having that spot clear. Gonna have a big blind spot from above. Oh, actually, only once you get really close. 
<laughs> I'll CT over the door if you wanted to advertise. Yeah, yeah, that's actually kind of cool. I will put a 2 by one LCD across the door, above the doors and think up something to put on it. I do, I do intend to, at some point, make some custom LCD pictures specifically for the Assertive mod. Uh, I started working on some designs for an Assertive faction symbol and it just went terribly. Uh, so it actually started making me think, in the end what I'd like to do is not have an Assertive faction at all. The assertive thing will just be the name of the mod, and then within the mod we'll have a police paramilitary style faction, we'll have a few different factions that all kind of protect each other and work together. The idea being they're a loose cooperation of different groups. Uh, so that's, that's kind of my long term plan. Obviously, with Thumbs still being the leader of the paramilitary group. Is that going to be too many guns? Protects a lot from below. Nah. That is true, Jackson. Um, in fact, I would be leaning toward a lot of your designs being the main police faction. Because yours are very heavy militarized. Like the Chasqui and those sorts of ones. Uh, I'm thinking this more like um, rare plants that have been stolen as opposed to drug crops. Uh. Theoretically, you may account that LCDs could change if you attacked them. I don't know that I'd do that. Uh, largely just out of... I don't know how much it'd add compared to the time I could spend on something else. Some more. Uh, that. And I'll go back to this one and drop it down. <laughs> yeah, I said I I was leaning towards like certain uh, when I eventually get around to doing the that sort of separate multiple different uh, factions within the mod thing. I was going to lay out all the different designs as I've already got in a save, and with them all laid out, I would then group them together in packages that sort of make sense as to different factions, but they'll all cooperate. They'll all respond to the same distress beacons and they will all send out the same paramilitary drones or call in the same ones that will all be friendly to them. So I just need to understand how all that stuff works and then have the time to do it and choose to do that instead of adding more ships to the mod. Because that's always the challenge. It's every time I do that, I lose... It, it's time taken away from adding more ships. But, you know, sometimes that's worth doing. Uh, name of this one. This was the cargo box or something? I think. Yeah, cargo box. Oops. I mean, this design is almost modular enough that I could do other variants on it, but I think I'll just stick with doing single variants on most of these designs now to try and get through more different designs rather than doing lots of variants on one, as I've done. <laughs> I'm not going to call it the hotbox, Jackson. Uh, my, the thing I've tried to do is stick to the original uh, author's name who inspired the design that I've ended up with. Uh, just so that they know which was their ship. Even if it's if it's not immediately clear from other reasons. Cool. It is a greenhouse. That's true, Eisen. Variants can be done off-screen to put additional surprises in for people who 
have watched and want to play with the mod. Cool. I reckon that's pretty much done. I'll need to do some finessing of this design with uh, putting in the bits like ammo and data pads and that sort of thing. But for now, I'm happy with that. And where are the rest of my designs? Up here. The rest of my ships, I mean. Oh dear, are they not? Here. Oh, where is everything? Entity list. And here. So there we go, that's the first of these ten. Now I think I might take a quick look at Eisen's gnat there as I don't believe there's going to be a lot I need to do to it to get it mod ready too from memory because I think I had previously messed around with it. Oh, uh, upside down. Oops. So this is the Nat, which is a nice small little vehicle. Now uh, we got to throw it on top. Eisen wants this to be converted to the offset door, which I can totally understand. Got a single crew. Actually, I love these little spaces. Uh, lighting though, can I get? I figure out a way to get a light in here. I'm guessing that floor needs to be there because it's covering the beacon. Ah, cool. If we lose the beacon, and I shove that there, I can put a light on that block. Easy. Yeah, my account uh, could have a legit space truck stop. There are so many different varieties of ships, and I really like that I've been able to get such a broad variety out of everyone's submissions. As I'm guessing you were intending it to be something like this. That's a good question, Jackson. I do wonder whether I could... whether any of these will make it into SU. Now, how on earth do I get an antenna onto this tiny little ship? Without ruining it. Because we do need an antenna. Yeah, it might have to be a tail antenna. Dangling off the back somewhere. I swear, next time I, <laughs> I do this build, I'm going to totally rework the whole hot bar because it is annoying. Lose the rear connector. Yeah, that's probably the best thing. I don't want to lose this curve. I kind of like it, but I think I'm going to have to. Unless I have this dangling downward, which I think will look worse. Now, do I want this running with a reactor on such a small ship? Might replace that with a battery. Oops. Detach. 
touch the uh, crafter. Uh, Is it that still at this point I can't remember where stuff just quickly is and grab it easily from this menu? There was a point where I used to be able to find stuff pretty quickly, but these days I just can't. I like the grab gen on it. I think it's nice. Oh, actually, that's a fair point. I could lose the grab gen. Because it's got the... Because um, the way you enter it makes more sense. To, it may, almost makes more sense for this to be a flying jetpack only sort of experience. Good point, everybody. Good point. How many batteries have we got on board this thing? I think we've got plenty now. One, two, three... Maybe not plenty. Maybe four will be better. Something like that. <laughs> Replace the crab gen with a warhead. Hmm. Yeah. I think this is going to be the best spot for it. Well, Graz, what I try and... The reason I try and learn where stuff is in this menu is because of the multi-block blocks. When you search for stuff, unless you're searching for the thing that is the main block, it doesn't actually show up the multi-block option. Like when I search for grav, there's no multi-block, whereas it'd be kind of convenient to just remember which one that's hidden under. I'm guessing... It's somewhere down here... What is it under? Jump drive? No. Ah, artificial mass block. There we go. It's there. So, like, knowing that quickly, I can have artificial mass blocks and all those things on my hotbar rather than having the grav gen just take up one. It is one of the things I actually like about the changes they made for the up for the Xbox version is that it, it does add a nice additional ease of using your hotbar, like compressing everything for your hotbar, I mean. That's what I was going for. Sweet. So those are two extra ships. I've got eight more for this batch, and then I'll load up another. Then I've got another version of this save with the next ten and the next ten, and hopefully I'll continue to make some progress. I really like some of these designs. I, this one has a really cool armor design. It's also going to have to be armed to the teeth to make up for the amount of. Um, large thrusters it's got. Also, uh, one thing I will remind people of is this style of image, although cool, using the monospace stuff, is something I'm not is against the guidelines for the mod because it uses... Uh, having too many of them around causes performance issues. But yeah, as a general rule oh, I'm trying to I'm having a mental blank on who it is who makes all the WHI builds because they are there are so many of them and they are all awesome why am I having a mental blank on who it is no 
Can anyone jog my memory? Oh wait, hang on. I said cargo ships. I was looking at it. Where is it? Funky Bacon! That's it. Uh, Funky Bacon's done some really, really cool designs. Yeah, that thing looks like it needs to be a heart anyway. That is true. I think it somehow does meet the P PCU requirements at the moment, though. Yeah. 3990. Uh, then we got this one, which has a whole lot of tanks on it. Uh, which is probably going to require some modification, although maybe... Maybe not too much, but I, I do like the colour. This is an interesting colour scheme, the lime on red. This one's also an interesting design too, which I think might benefit from some of the newer thrusters. Because it's quite square and having some square uh, thrusters could be cool. Similarly for this one, I think. Ooh. It's an interesting little almost puckered design around the connector. That's kind of cool. I've never, never seen someone do that before. But yeah, there are some very interesting designs in this batch. Uh, this one's going to be a bit of a problem, because it is way too big for the <laughs> Assertive Cargo Ships mod, so I'm going to have to figure out how on earth I would make this one smaller, but still fitting the aesthetic that they've gone for. But yeah, got some interesting designs and both Space and Atmo, which is nice to come. Having done a Space and Atmo today. Yeah, hopefully I will get into some more of these soon. Now, since Capac's streaming, let me go to Twitch. And hopefully not play everything. Ah, go away. Some kind of high-end luxury spaceship. The gold one. Oh, this one down here. You mean? It does kind of look yachtish. Very long and sleek. But man, I that some of these, these designs are pretty dang cool. And this is why I didn't want to do them all myself. <laughs> because if I was designing all the ships... Oh man, it would take so much longer. And they all kind of end up looking a bit the same, I think. But that will be all from me for today. I need to go and do some editing and other stuff because I'll be at work again this week. So what I'm going to do, since Capac is streaming, is I'm going to use that raid thing that I almost never do. Hopefully I will see you guys soon. I'll be back on Friday with Capac and Craftopia. I will also have a co-op with Capac Space Engineers video on Wednesday, which is us continuing the Lost Colony. And Capac, I'm sure we'll be back for some more stuff later in this week. I won't be around tomorrow for the Tuesday stream, so I'm sure Capac will be streaming then anyway. But I'm at work, unfortunately, so I won't be up for the Tuesday one. But yeah, there's all that and plenty more to come. And I will see you all then. Thanks for coming, everyone. Uh, I have no idea if that raid has worked. Oh well. <laughs>